And now for something completely different. I'm renowned for overcomplicating things, so I thought I'd make a video for somebody starting out perhaps and something that's very, very simple to build and hopefully simple to fly. To make things easy for the beginner, I've purchased one of these sort of value packs, if you will, from AliExpress and as always, links down in the description. This comes with pretty much everything we need. We have two servos there, an allegedly 40 amp speed controller, a motor if you can see there in the reflection 2212 1400 kV 10 turns. That comes complete with the prop adapter and the screws for mounting it to the included motor mount. Also gives us a handy battery strap and some adapters for the two provided propellers, these being some 8x6. To go with the motor mount there, I've just laser cut this, which is from the flight test plan. I think this came from the flight test explorer, but it's pretty much universal. That's laser cut out of 2mm ply, so it's nice and light. And with that and the motor on there, We'll be able to plonk that on the front and that will give us our power source. Lastly in the power source I've got this rather old nice and puffed zippy 2200 pack. It needs to be quite heavy to get the COG right which we will see. This is quite an aging battery so I wouldn't trust it in anything high power but uh, it should be ideal for this purpose. The foam I'm using here in Europe we get Depron and one of the standard sizes is this sheet which is 500 millimeters or 50 centimeters by one meter. Just see there. Now that's our, our standard size. For the design I have in mind we're going to need a vertical stabilizer. What I'm going to do then is to cut this sheet to 750 by 500 and then that will give us some leftover to make our tail with. Enough blabbering then, I'll get on and cut the foam and then I'll show you the intricate design. As I intimated then, the design is very very complex indeed. We have two Elevon surfaces at the back there, marked out, in this case 300 millimeters by 100 millimeters. For my cousins across the pond, the way that I've cut this sheet makes it almost identical to your phone board or ready board 20 by 30 sheets. So in your case you can do this with one foot by four inches and it will be pretty much identical. I've marked out the centre line there as well to put our vertical stabiliser on and I've just roughly laid out the components to see if I can get the CG more or less correct. As an aside, 20 by 30 inches is a ratio of two thirds. Keep that in mind for later. Also you can see here I've put the motor on and by some bizarre quirk of fate the actual holes have lined up in the correct positions which is uh, very rare. What you must do though is to change the provided countersink or countersunk screws for pan heads otherwise you risk splitting the the ply plate there. Also put the propeller on just loosely to get us in the right place. So speed controller, massive ELRS receiver there and our servos somewhere at the back. This line here indicates where the C of G is going to be, which is 4 inches or 100 millimetres back from the front edge. Hence why everything has to be pretty near the front. Now I know the battery is not in exactly the right position, but I've dropped my fingers underneath there at around about the 100 millimetres mark and it's more or less level. We're good to go then to the next step. I'll cut out the elevons, then we'll see where we go from there. Having cut the elevon out then, clearly we're going to need to put a chamfer along this edge so that it will move both down as well as up. 
There are some people who seem to manage to do it just by running the knife straight along the edge there and get decent chamfers. Sadly, I'm not one of those people. My method then is to take two metal rulers, put that over the edge of the bench there, line the elevon up with that, then take my other ruler, and placing that on top, and just with a piece of scrap foam, make sure that that's spaced at six millimeters so that when we cut it it's going to be at 45 degrees now i'm not going to use the knife for this a better solution for me is this rather handy dandy razor plane And that then, after a few passes, gives me a reasonably decent bevel there. With that beveled, then I can put it on and put some tape along here, and then we'll have our working elevon. Well, what a difference a bit of colour makes. I told you to watch out for the uh, 2 to 3 ratio, and that by coincidence happens to be what the Spanish flag is, the symbol of my adopted country. We have the, the, the layout there, that will be the next step to get those things stuck in. But I know that you're just wondering what's on the other side. Well, at the moment it's a bit pedestrian. I'm sure this thing is going to be hazardous, so we have the hazard warning here. But there's going to be a logo or something in the centre there, but you'll have to wait for the flight video for that and the weather's looking pretty miserable for the next week, which gives me plenty of time to put the hardware on there. On a suitable day, I'll meet you at the flying field. Thanks for watching.